Hi, I'm James. In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply surreal motion blur to forest shots. So you're obviously going to need a shot of trees in a forest and the more dramatic the lighting, the better. But you can still get away with just normal plain old flat lighting tree shots, but it's always going to look better with better lighting. So for this technique, the first thing that you have to do is create a copy of the background layer. Or if you're working with layers, you're going to need to merge all visible layers into a new layer at the top of the stack. So you do that by holding down Control Shift Alt and E and then work on that layer. Now we've got layer one visible and active. Just go up to filter and then blur, motion blur. And then in the angle, just set that to 90. So it's going straight up. And then in the distance, I find usually that an amount somewhere between 300 and 600 pixels works perfectly. And it ultimately depends on the size of your image file, the file that your camera creates. So anywhere between there, depending on the shot as well, is going to get you where you want to be. So there, 300, I don't think that's quite enough. So if we type in 600, that's much, much closer to what I'm looking for but still a bit too strong. So let's try 450. And I think that's the amount I'd like to go with. What I'm gonna do now is just hit OK and that's gonna to commit to the blur. And that blur, as you can see there, sits above the background layer, which is completely sharp as usual. So now I'll just go down to the add layer mask icon, which is a kind of white rectangle with a circle in the center and then just hit D on the keyboard to make sure that the default colors over here are set to black and white. We need black in the foreground, so just hit X, and then what we're gonna do is press G on the keyboard, and that's going to bring up the gradient tool. So just make sure that this one over here on the left is selected because that's the standard gradient and now the layer mask is still active because it's highlighted there and I'm just going to hold down shift for a straight line and then just drag the gradient up there and let's go again so there you'll see that's immediately giving us some graduation between the blur and also the sharp layer down below so just using the gradient tool there has done a really good job but I'm just going to hit B now to bring up the brush tool and let's just make sure we have a nice soft edge brush so take hardness down to zero and let's have a look at the size so i'm just going to use the right square bracket key to make that brush larger if i was to use the left square bracket key that makes it smaller but let's go for one around there and what i'm going to do is just paint in black and that's just going to reveal the layer below i just want to soften the graduation slightly on this tree here i'm just going to make the brush a bit smaller and actually let's just take the opacity down to 50 for this one that's probably a bit too hard so control and Z and let's take it down to about 20 so what I'm trying to do here is on the most prominent tree just soften the graduation because it's the one that your eye is kind of drawn to so let's just take opacity back up to 100 and you can kind of change things around as you want to if you're not happy with something just hit X on the keyboard to bring white into the foreground and then we can just bring that blur back by painting in just like that. So that is how to add motion blur to forest shots to create surreal blurred trees. So that is how to add surreal motion blur to forest shots in Photoshop. 